ISD reporting services here in Lima, Peru, for the UN climate change talks covering on selected side events. Today, December 8th, we are in downtown Lima for the global launch of GPC. So GPC, it stands for the Global Protocol for Community Scale Greenhouse Gas Emissions. And it's a tool with which to harmonize and add transparency to existing efforts around the world for cities to measure their emissions. GPC is a joint initiative of WRI, C40, and ICLE. The purpose of this initiative is to set global standards on how cities measure and manage their greenhouse gas emissions. The standard is, is essential. Uh, we've been working on different methodologies over the years and now we're moving towards one single concrete comprehensive standard. It allows for comparability, it, it allows for transparency, and it allows for something that we call vertical aggregation. It, it allows us to add up the, the emissions from cities in a national context, which we haven't really been able to do before. In September 2014, during the UN Climate Change Summit in New York, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon announced the launch of the Global Compact of Mayors. This initiative, the largest effort to date by cities to fight climate change, is now directly connected to the GPC. The Compact of Mayors has adopted GPC in a way, and this is one of the requirements for cities who sign up to the Compact of Mayors that they must do their inventory based on GPC. So this was a great outcome that will help the use of GPC by cities all over the world. In cities, greenhouse gas emissions can occur inside and outside the city boundary. GPC takes this into account by highlighting the importance of the city-wide concept. This will allow cities to do provide two different processes with which to measure their emissions, which will allow for greater understanding and transparency for a citywide emission inventory. So not just the municipal government, but also what's happening in the private sector within the cities, what's happening to transboundary emissions, transportation efforts, emissions from airports, things that haven't been necessarily ever included in a citywide emissions inventory. The event of the global launch of the GPC became an opportunity for local authorities not only to showcase their experiences using this tool, but also encourage other cities to improve their reporting and monitoring activities related to climate change. The GPC initiative is important for the city of Paris because it's going to be a good tool for us to measure action by action or from one period to another period how we have complete, concretely reduced greenhouse uh, gas emission. So uh, this is why Paris participated. GPC allows us uh, a various type of um, calculation and we think it is really um, possible and it, it, we are really glad to have some customized for the requirement by the GPC. O GPC é uma ferramenta hoje moderna, já é utilizada há muito tempo, mas a atual plataforma é muito mais eficiente, é mais barata e funciona bem. E nós precisamos fazer um inventário com base no GPC. Quando você faz um inventário bem feito, você sabe o que emite. E quando você conhece o que emite, pode adotar uma política pública para reduzir a emissão. In Lima, the GPC event was a step towards a more cohesive engagement of cities in combating climate change. The partnership C40, WRI and ICLE, in conjunction with many of our other partners, will roll out a training program. We will offer technical support to cities. There is a tool that is GPC compliant. There are reporting platforms to support you. The package is there. Use it. By 2035, 75 of 100 people are going to live in urban areas. Well, look, the battle against climate change will be fought in the cities. Cities can be the problem or cities can be the solution. But we need to know what's going on in the cities. What you measure, you treasure. <laughs>